Hi guys, welcome back to my video. For today's video, I have my notes here with me. I don't normally do this, but I made up a list of things I will not be buying in the year 2021 or probably ever. If you want to see what's on this list, stick around. And the title of this video is Things I Will... Oh my gosh, it's the FedEx guy. He just, oh my gosh, I have to go see. For today's video, I'm actually filming two videos in one day because I have lots of time and I love spending time with you guys. So I, over the weekend, was working on a list and I have really been trying to think about what I add to my collection. I don't want to add, and I'm talking about super expensive items. I'm not talking about Kurt Geiger bags, although they are expensive, they are pricey, but they're not pricey like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. Okay, so I'm talking about super expensive luxury items, and you know, there is that debate, what is luxury? Well, if something is expensive, it's considered luxury. So that is what I have made a list, things I won't be buying in the year 2021, or possibly ever. If you wanna see what's on this list, stick around. All right, so let's just get into this list. All right, the number one thing that I won't be buying, I don't mean that I won't be buying much of. <laughs> I don't mean not ever, but much of, okay? I've already contradicted myself, right? But I won't be buying lots and lots of expensive costume jewelry. That's what I mean. Expensive costume jewelry because Chanel costume jewelry is so expensive. I have a few pieces. I sold a few pieces and I honestly, I just, I can't spend the same amount of money or even more on costume jewelry than I could get real gold. Gold, you know, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, you know, sterling silver, no way, no way. I'm not going to be doing that. Now, I'm not saying, sometimes there is an exception. Sometimes there is that piece that you just feel like, oh, I just really want that, that's really me, and there's just that piece. I do have the little Chanel CC earrings and wear them occasionally, but I would never buy any more. Now these earrings I'm wearing, they are costume and they are Kendra Scott and they're inexpensive. And normally when I buy Kendra Scott, lots of times I look on Nordstrom Rack and in the sales section first. I love Kendra Scott earrings. I love fun uh, costume jewelry earrings. So I mean like super expensive Chanel earrings like the Chanel earrings that come to mind. I love those dangly ones with the CC's now that is totally My style, but every time I tr look them up and I think I want to get those I cannot spend on just some kind of unknown metal <laughs> 12 to fifteen hundred dollars on a pair of earrings. I'm just not gonna do it. So I don't have the earrings and I, I just can't go there. So that is what I'm talking about. Super expensive, luxury, costume jewelry. No, it's not in the cards for me. I, I have a few Chanel brooches. I'm going to keep them. I don't remember how many I have, two or three. That's good enough for me. I would much rather save my money and get something substantial, something that's gonna last, something that's going to be an heirloom that I can pass down to my daughter or my granddaughters. I don't want to spend big money on Chanel costume jewelry. So I'm not gonna be doing that or any costume jewelry. Now I'm not saying ever. <laughs> this is my channel, I make the rules, okay? <laughs> I do love Love, love my Louis Vuitton hoop earrings. I have the gold pair and I have the palladium pair. Love them and I would love to have that Louise necklace. Now I would go there. See, now that's a piece that is me that I don't care if I pass it down because I would probably wear it until I'm an old lady and rock that necklace 
I mean, that's just me. Sometimes, like I said, there's a piece that calls your name and those earrings did. And I love having both pair because I wear the gold. Sometimes I wear the palladium. Sometimes I wear a gold and a palladium, you know. So there is that occasional time where I will fall off the wagon, so to speak, and, you know, go there. So, but for the most part, I'm not going to fill up my collection with expensive, costume jewelry. And before I move on, I do want to add, I do have, you know, some nice pieces of gold jewelry, just, you know, jewelry that I've accumulated over the years, but I really, really, really want some Cartier uh, gold jewelry. And I just want it. I can't help it. And I don't usually like to admit that I want what everybody else wants, but I'm on YouTube, okay? <sighs> Give me a break. <laughs> I just want it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and I really love, I have really enjoyed my love rings. These I bought for myself. This one Keith got me for 15th wedding, no, 14th wedding anniversary. And I have really enjoyed my love rings. Okay. Oh, and check out that Jill Maurer piece. This is what she sent me for Christmas, you guys. Is it stunning? I list her and I have listed her website in the description box below. And oh, I love it with this kimono. So I have a coupon code. You need to order some stuff from Jill. Her jewelry is fantastic. Oh, and this ring, I love it. See, that's what I'm saying. All of this is real. This is real gemstone, sterling silver, and a lot of it. This is the most fabulous sterling silver ring from Jill Maurer. So just real stuff, okay? This ring, my parents brought me back from Greece many years ago. I don't know if that's picking it. But it has like Alexander the Greek on it. <laughs> I love it. So, okay, let's move along. Um, SLGs. I have never been an SLG collector. I, when I started my channel, I didn't even know what SLG meant. I mean, you would think that I could have figured it out, but I was thinking, what the heck is SLG? I, <laughs> duh, small leather good. And there's probably a lot of people out there that doesn't know what SLG means, okay? Small leather goods. I've never been a lover of small leather goods. I buy them but I buy the ones that I use, okay? Now there's nothing wrong with it. If that's your jam, you just buy all the SLGs that you want. And if that's what makes your heart sing, if that's what makes you go, ooh, you know, <laughs> if that's what makes you tick, buy them. But I do like to have nice things in my handbags. I enjoy looking in my bag and I see nice things in my bag. Okay, so I really want a Chanel wallet this year, a compact Chanel wallet with gold hardware, black, and I kind of want the Camilla print on it, or I want that Camilla print. I love that. I think it's so pretty, so classic. I would have it for years and years. The only wallet that I have is my Louis Vuitton uh, monogram zippy and I've had it for many, many years and I will use it again sometime in the future. I'm just into compact wallets right now. So I, you know, sometimes I see an SLG and I think I really like that, but I only buy the ones I use and that's just me because it's really hard and that's why I don't have that Chanel wallet. I could buy it today, <sighs> but I have to think about it. Like it's really hard to spend that kind of money on a wallet when I think I could just save that money and put it with a little bit more and get this or that, you know. So I, mm -mm. SLGs, I will buy them. Like I said, I make the rules here, right? I will buy them when I see one that I really need, but I don't collect them. I won't be buying tons and tons of SLGs. I went a little crazy with some of the Tory Burch and Coach SLGs because I thought they're cheap. And which, you know, all of them I bought on sale. They're not really cheap, but 
I don't really use many of them. So they're just sitting there in my closet. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to make calculated moves. <laughs> calculated purchases, I might say. With my SLGs. And the only SLG, well there are two SLGs that I want. I want a four ring key holder because I don't need the six ring. I don't work anymore. I don't have a bunch of keys. And I just, you know, it takes up too much space. So I want a four ring key holder and a Chanel compact wallet. That's it. That's all I can think of right now. And I have the toiletries. I've never really felt the need for that. Is it the multi pochette with the chain? I think the chain would be annoying when I have the toiletries. I just don't feel like I need all of that stuff. So, and I don't feel like I need the same SLG in every print. That's not me either. So number three, bag charms. I like bag charms, but I've told you guys this before. I've only ever bought two luxury bag charms from Louis Vuitton because I can't handle spending that kind of money on a bag charm. And I buy them for specific bags and I tend to just leave them on that bag because that's the bag that I bought it for. So I won't be spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on bag charms or luggage tags. You guys, I like luggage tags. I really do. And I see some people that have these awesome luggage tag collections and they get them stamped and this and that, but I still don't want to spend money on them. You know, I just don't. I'm not saying I won't ever. Every bit of this, everything on here, I might occasionally get one, but I'm not going to ever have a huge collection of bag charms. And you know what? And if I did, I would probably just go coach because Autumn Beckman said the other day, check out coach bag charms because they are every bit as great quality or better than Louis Vuitton. And I have to admit they are because I have some and I love them, but I don't like a bag charm that just totally, when you look at somebody carrying an expensive handbag, all you notice is that charm. I don't like that. I like the bag charm to complement the bag and just to add a little bit of, I don't know, just a little something, a little flair. <laughs> I don't want it to take over the bag. Like, remember those Fendi monsters? <sighs> bag charms? Okay. And I'm guilty of this. Those poof balls, no, I ever never bought any of the Fendi's the really expensive ones. I had some Michael Coors and I still have two. I'm over the poof balls, you guys. Totally over the poof balls. Mm -mm. I don't want anything that's just gonna take away. I love to tie a twilly around my handbags. You know, it is nice to be able to dress up your luxury bags and kind of make your personality shine through. But at the same time, I don't wanna spend thousands and it would be easy to do on just a few luxury bag charms. No, thank you. I'm not going there. Number four, Louis Vuitton perfumes. They do not like me. They do not. They do not work with my body chemistry. I don't know what it is. I have the Rose Events and it lasts for about five minutes on me. I put it, put it on. I have never one time had anybody say, ooh, what are you wearing? It smells so good. Nobody has ever complimented me when I'm wearing that perfume. I can't ever even get a whiff of it. It's gone. It's like, so I have it and I'm gonna continue to use it until it's gone and then no more. No more Louis Vuitton colognes because, I mean, I haven't tried them all, but every single one I've ever tried, they don't last on me. So, no more Louis Vuitton cologne. I've never tried the afternoon swim. I always wanted to try it, but it probably wouldn't last on me. Like today I'm wearing, I don't know the name of it. It's Lancome and I got it. It's a sample and it smells so good. Like when I'm doing like this, I can smell it. It smells so good. So I'm not gonna waste my money on Louis Vuitton perfume ever again. Number five might come in as a bit of a surprise for you guys. Maybe not. I don't know. But it surprises me. 
no more luxury sneakers. I have one pair. That's enough. Thank you very much. They are the Louis Vuitton. What are they? Are they the? I'll insert a picture. Can't even think of what they're called, but I thought I would wear them all the time and they're comfortable. I just don't think they're my jam. I like Vans. I'm not really, I'm not, I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a pair of luxury sneakers just to say I have them. And last year I wanted some Gucci sneakers. I'm over that. The only pair that I really want, and it's because they suit my style and I don't have them, is the Golden Goose. Like, I love the way they look. Winnie B. L. V. hey girl. She has the uh, Golden Goose and she said they're comfortable. You guys let me know what you think about Golden Goose. Now I know you either love them or you hate them, but they're my jam. I would wear them with a dress. Like, I think they're super cute and I love distressing. So I probably will get a pair of those, but like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, sneakers like that, that's not really, I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy any more. Never say never. But the ones that I have purchased, I've only worn them a few times. I'm gonna keep them. And I did wear them, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I wore them, but I don't know. They're just not, what to say. <sighs> no more of those, okay? All right, number six. Here's something I know I'll never buy again. The Valentino Jelly uh, flip-flops. Okay, so I had a pair, and number one, they, if you do buy them, size up, definitely size up. I bought a size eight, and I wear a seven and a half and an eight, and they are so narrow, you guys, and I have really wide feet really wide feet and my foot was just hanging off of it. So I wore it a couple of times. They hurt between my big toe and I thought these are ridiculously uncomfortable. So my daughter has really skinny little feet. So I gave them to her and I asked her the other day, do you ever wear those Valentinos? She said, mom, they are so uncomfortable. She said, sometimes I'll wear them just because they're cute, but she said they're really uncomfortable. So I will never, ever, ever, never, ever buy another, another pair of Valentino jelly flip-flops. I kind of wanted the slides, and I love slides, you guys. I'm not talking about slides. I love slides. <laughs> But I thought about the Valentino black slides with a rock stud. I want to know, are they comfortable? I have to usually buy online because we don't have luxury shopping here. I have to go to Atlanta and I probably won't go there for a while. So I'm curious, but really as far as those jellies, they're so, so cute. Um, but never again will I ever buy another pair. Number seven, and I'm wearing it today, Hermes lipsticks. They're lovely, they feel good, but they're not any better than Gucci or Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder, I think, is better. <laughs> That's my opinion. So I am wearing Hermes lipstick right now. It is nice, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money on lipstick. I did it because I wanted to know for myself, and I love it. It's, it's nice, but it's too expensive for what it is, so yeah. No more Hermes lipsticks for me. I will just stick with, uh, what is the, I like Estee Lauder the best. I like Estee Lauder, I've tried Tom Ford and I didn't know it until some of you guys told me, uh, Pink Butterfly Girl, she knows all about makeup. Miss Vicky, she knows all about makeup and both of them told me that it was made by Estee Lauder. I didn't know that, you guys, but Estee Lauder is my favorite. Gucci's, I like them. And I'm gonna try Chanel and I'll probably try YSL. I want to try those two, but I do like the Hermes, but I'm not going to buy any more of them. So I've bought three of them and that's it. No more of those. Too much, too much money for what it is. Okay. All right. So number nine, first, let me say that I've never had any of these things, <laughs> but I'm never buying them. <laughs> okay. You know, you hear some people are foodies. Some people are, I don't know, like really into, uh, okay. I'm not really a big clothing person. 
I buy clothes because I need clothes. How many times have I told you guys this? I am not really a real stylish person. I don't think I am, but like, I don't go to Louis Vuitton and really look through their clothing items. Mm -mm. I mean, maybe a jacket, maybe something like that. And I do have that Fendi shawl that I love, but I'm talking about ready to wear luxury clothes. No, I won't be doing that. I've never done it. I've never wanted to do it. It's just not my thing. You know, like today I have on a black tube top <laughs> that I got from Amazon. I have on some black knit yoga pants, kind of bell bottom from Walmart and this little kimono and I will link it natural life I think that's the kind of clothes that I like to wear that I feel comfortable in and then I like a nice handbag and nice sunglasses but no I'm not really a blazer girl I feel too stuffy I I'm not I can't see myself walking around in a Chanel blazer I just can't see that I mean maybe if I went to like a Greek Orthodox wedding something and I have on a black dress and a nice black Chanel jacket. That might be pretty. But how many times would I wear it? I mean, I, mm -mm. luxury ready to wear clothes because here's what would happen. I would, you know, make a big snag on the front of my shirt. There's a snag on this right here that I picked with my ring. But big deal because I think I paid maybe 10, 12 bucks for it. I'm just not a dressy clothes person, so I don't feel the need to spend exuberant amounts of money on clothing. I just don't. So that's something, that is something, you guys. You guys, if I ever do that and if I ever come on this channel and unbox a Chanel blazer or jacket or whatever you call it, you guys can pick anything out of my collection, handbag collection, that you want and I'll send it to you, okay? <laughs> See? See, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I can go there. I can say that, right? I can say it. <laughs> but I'm just never, I'm just not into that kind of stuff. All right, and the last thing on my list Things I will, won't be buying in 2021 or ever. Multiple luxury scarves. I'm not really a scarf person. Now it gets cold here in North Alabama. We don't get a lot of snow, but it gets freaking cold down here in the South. But I'm just, well, I, I have kind of a short neck and I just feel like, you know, a scarf. I just feel like, you know, I can't breathe. I If it's really, really cold, I will put one inside of my coat, you know, or maybe if it's really cold at a ball game, I'll wear one. I don't have any luxury scarves. Well, I do, but not the warm kind. I have a vintage Gucci and a Steve McQueen. I don't know if I have any more. I think that's it. But anyway, I'm talking about super multiple scarves, luxury scarves. So I found some on Amazon and they do me just fine. And when I wear them, if I wear them on this channel, I'll show you and you know, you can get mad if you want to, <laughs> but the lookalikes, I'm digging those because I wanted the Louis Vuitton shine shawl. That's hard to say. Louis Vuitton, Louis, Louis Vuitton, shine shop. But you know what would happen? The minute I got it and the minute I wore it, I would snag it. And I cannot, I cannot spend that kind of money, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a shawl that is known to pick because everyone tells me, yes, they pick, but you know, you just have to deal with it. Well, I don't have to deal with it because I'm not gonna buy one. I like my lookalikes, thank you very much. And if you don't like it, then bye-bye. Because -bye. <laughs> I do like it. So, that is my list. What do you guys think? Is there something that 
you won't be buying this year, something that you won't be buying ever, something that maybe you will buy them, like the costume jewelry. Like, I do love those click bracelets, Hermes click bracelets. I have two and I want a click clack on a wider one. So I do want one, I do. I just haven't been able to pull the trigger because it's hard. I could get a gold bracelet for that, but at the same time, I like them. So is there something that you really like it and you want it and you're gonna buy it? Or is there something you absolutely won't buy? Anyway, and I don't think what I'm saying right now is making any sense. <laughs> because I've been filming for about two hours and I seriously need to go eat lunch. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Let's get to 4,000 subscribers and do a giveaway. And I'll see you guys again, I'll see you guys again in a couple of days. Bye-bye.